frustrations mount in Brewery Town as car vandals repeatedly strike the same parking lot. In addition to the financial toll, residents say the recent acts of vandalism have left them feeling unsafe outside of their own homes. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today is the call for action after residents say just about two dozen cars were damaged in recent weeks, many of them just in the last few days. All this happening in the area of the 1400 block of North 31st Street. That's where we find Action News reporter Chad Perdelli live with reaction from some very frustrated neighbors. Chad. Yeah, yeah, you bet, Sarah. Take a look behind me. You can see some of the shattered glass there right here on the roadway. This is that parking lot you were talking about. This is where most of the vandalism has occurred. It's been hit multiple time in recent times in recent weeks, and residents here are tired of it. Broken glass litters the road and pavement in the private parking lot and streets on the 1400 block of North 31st Street. Residents say a string of vandalism has them feeling unsafe. I am extremely frustrated. And it's, it's sad that you can't feel safe. They busted out the window and uh, of course now I've, this is a 24 so now I've, I've got to wait a few weeks and 1800 bucks worth of damage and not much I can do. Ryan Purnell says within the past couple of weeks, roughly two dozen cars have been vandalized. His last night, he lives at the hub, advertised as affordable luxury apartments. I know they have their own set of challenges, but I mean, the the way that we're getting it from them, it's like, you know, you park at your own wrist, do your own thing, but I, I feel like, you know, more should be done. Brianna Hanusich also lives at the apartment. She says she's been harassed and assaulted at the complex, and she's fed up. I kind of took the gated community as a plus and a bonus from when I moved here that I want to move and it's not safe. This morning, a crew was constructing a secure gate to the hub's private parking lot where much of the vandalism has occurred. It took for this, what is it, day before yesterday, 10 cars got broken into and two days before that, another eight. So it's like all of a sudden, no, we're getting something done, but it, it, it should have been done earlier. They're doing it for fun. Um, this was a problem last year, too, at the same time. Last year, they were actually taking things. This year, I think they're just doing it for fun and not taking anything. Police say they are investigating attempts to reach the building's owner. Manor Holdings out of North Jersey have been unsuccessful. I'm live in Brewery Town, Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News. Yeah, hopefully they can figure something up to make that safer. Chad, thank you.